What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, we have a fast and easy shiny hunt for Glimlet and Glamora in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And of course, guys, if you like these types of videos, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. Now, to begin this hunt, we are going to be going to Area Zero, but we're going to be going to the Zero Gate right outside because you cannot set up a picnic within Area Zero. So we're going to have to do the picnic outside of Area Zero right at the Zero Gate. Now, we're going to be able to save our game here because you always want to save your game before you make a sandwich, of course, because if you don't do this, you make a mistake, you don't get the shiny, you lose our herbs, and you do not want to lose those. So we're going to set up a picnic right here, and Glimlet and Glamora are both poison and rock type Pokemon. However, I'm going to recommend doing the poison type sandwich over the rock type sandwich. The reason being is you can actually get Garnacle to spawn in this location if you do a rock type sandwich, which we don't want to aim for Garnacle in this video. So because it is a poison type, I am going to be using one thing of noodles here and then two salties. Or you could also use one cucumber, one pickle, three green uh, peppers, and then you can pretty much use almost any combination of two Herba Mysticas to make your sandwich. And there we go. We got Sparkling Tidal and Counter Power level three for Poison type Pokemon and ready to begin this hunt. So now we're going to head into the Zero Gate and we're going to be going to Research Area 4. And the reason why is because we're, that's going to take us the furthest into Area Zero. We want to get all the way to the bottom floor. And they only spawn really in Area 3 and 4, but 4 has the best spot for it. So now that we're in area four, we're gonna have to continue our descent till we get to pretty much where the climactic battle of the story occurs. And from there, we're gonna head over to the pool. So just from here, we're gonna just jump right on down. And pretty much all the water locations here are gonna have essentially exclusive spawns of Glimlet and Glamora. They're the only things that are gonna spawn in the water if you have a poison type sandwich. If you do have a rock type sandwich, sometimes you can get a Garnacle to appear, which we do not want. Now, the shiny for Glimlet and Glamora are very easy to tell. It's going to be a dark blue bulb on the Glimlet, it, and also the head of it is going to be much lighter blue. And then the Glamora, its dark blue is going to end up being that tealish blue color you see on the secondary part of its head area, that like teal, like greenish blue color. The full body is going to be that color. So for this hunt, because we can't picnic reset down here, uh, we're going to have to just walk around and try to get the shiny. And the good news is with shiny charm and a shiny uh, sandwich, you have a great chance of actually getting this. I did this on my live stream recently, and it did take a minute to get it, but we eventually did get it. And it's not that bad of a hunt. The big thing is, though, you sort of have a higher chance of getting Glamora than Glimlet just because you can see there are more Glamora spawns than Glimlet, but when you do see Glimlets, they do spawn in four as a cluster, which is really nice. Now, to keep in mind, Glamora can spawn on the walls like this too. And when they spawn on the walls like this, you can either walk into them, but you can't actually target. Oh, you can't target them. And they can be shiny. So make sure you pay attention to the walls. If you do see one that is all just like that teal blue, you'll be able to encounter it and you'll be able to get your shiny. So hopefully we get it within the 30 minutes. And I do recommend, if you didn't know the exact positioning of this spot because there is no map, this is the water area where you encounter the legendary Pokemon in the post game. I recommend going here. I don't recommend going on the land at all because the land can get different Pokemon to spawn for you. But any of this open water area is actually gonna be a really legitimate shiny hunting spot for Glimlet and Glamora. Now let's see if we can get this shiny within the 30 minutes. And with about 16 minutes passed, we got our shiny Glamora actually stuck in the wall, which is actually pretty dope. As you can see, this is what the shiny looks like when it's stuck in the wall. And I do recommend saving, of course, before actually encountering the shiny, just in case something bad happens. But you should be good to go otherwise. And there we go. We've got a nice little back strike on this thing. Caught it off guard. A perfect looking shiny on that. And, you know, I actually do think the quick ball does look perfect pretty great on this i mean the blue matches you got the yellow matching the eyes and there we go that is a shiny glamora and crit catch on that which means there we go we got it like i said glimlet is going to be a little bit harder than glamora just because you are going to be getting more glamora spawns overall 
which is actually a really good Pokemon in VGC. But, you know, with a little bit of luck, you'll get your Glimlet. When the first time I did this hunt on stream, I actually got my Glimlet and did not get a Glamora. So now I'm actually at the full shiny family, which is pretty sweet. Oh, oh there it is. I'm going to save my game. Let's go. Let's go. 15.35, but add some time when I saw it. It was close. And there we go, guys. That is how you get Shiny Glimlet and Glamora fast and easy in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I hope this guide was helpful for you. If it was, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. And if you have any other good isolated Shiny Hunt locations, whether it's a runaround or a picnic spot, please let me know in either the comment section below or on Discord. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time.